children of the late run DMC star, that's legendary DJ Jam Master J, are speaking for the very first time since two men were convicted of murdering their father more than 20 years ago. You may recall he was gunned down here in New York City at a recording studio in 2002. Last month, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington were found guilty of the murder, and prosecutors called it a drug deal gone bad. But now, two of Jam Master J's sons, that's TJ and Jesse Mizell, say that explanation is just not right. CBS New York anchor, that's Maurice Dubois, spoke to them at Scratch DJ Academy, which was co-founded by their dad. But the narrative right now is that he was selling cocaine yeah. to support his family because mm -hmm. the Run DMC money wasn't coming in the way it had been. Yeah. Right? Yep. How does that sit with you? We strongly believe that that's false. Like, we believe that there, obviously, that there was money involved. And whether that was his money or not, it's not like he's selling drugs. You know, he, he was literally just touring. They were tour Run DMC was touring at the time that he passed, you know? Um, so we really feel like it was like his money being taken and being used for to do other things. Jam Master J is also known for buying cars for everyone on the block on Christmas. When Christmas came around, three people were getting a Toyota, you know? And like, we have a big family, like we never longed for anything. And then you ultimately decided not to go to the trial itself. Yeah. Why, sure. why was that? Why do you want to stay away? We keep ourselves out of all of that. It's, it's all, anything that we try to do that has involvement with our father is positive, you know? And, Regardless of the outcome, that's just not a, a very positive situation. It's not a very positive environment. No, it's not. Maurice Dubois joins us now. Maurice, good to have you here at the table. Good morning. You know, what struck me about this, the two people that were convicted, one was a godfather, another was a close family friend. How are they processing that, knowing that this was someone known to the... These two guys were known to the family? Great question. It's extremely difficult. In fact, Gail, one instance where these guys saw the sons at a party, came up to them, and basically said, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Mm. Uh. And the sons weren't even thinking about them yes. as potential suspects. So right there, red flags went off. Yes. So hard to process that at all. On that is an odd thing to right. say. Yeah. Right. What what else? Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, what else jumped out to you in this conversation? Oh, these young guys are amazing. They were able to, to grow up well-adjusted, right? Um, your dad has died. It's, it's known all around the world. People know who you are. They're at school. They were somehow able to maintain a positive frame of mind. Their mom did a heck of a job raising them, moved them to suburban Virginia, mm. and kept them away from all that. You know, mm. a, a basically normal kind of lifestyle. They talk about being into skateboarding, snowboarding, yeah. you know, all this outdoorsy stuff, and, and having an entrepreneurial attitude now. I mean, they're into a lot of different businesses. They're, there's a cannabis business, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's the DJing business, yeah. and they, they tend to look forward, not backward. That's Despite the tragedy, yeah. they are thriving. Yeah. Hey, Maurice, appreciate you coming in, man.